everyone, ladies and gentlemen, including gentlemen and ladies and ladies and gents. Uh-oh, got an emergency. Give me one second. Okay, crisis is overted. Overted? Overted. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, wanted to mention something. And I assure you, I don't watch the news. I do watch the news after it happens, but I don't watch the news in the morning. I watch it late in the evening. It just so happens I didn't watch the news yesterday or the day before, but I did watch it when I got up this morning. NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt from yesterday. And guess what they were talking about on the 11th? They were discussing the high prices of food and how inflation has grown the highest in December and it has in the last 40 years. The fastest inflation rate. And I'm doing a video just showing you guys about soup. Because, see, I know there's going to be another lockdown. Why? Because the rest of the world is locking down. China's locking down. So there's going to be another lockdown. So I am preparing. And in preparing, I told you people, I have dehydrated vegetables that I can mix with my soup so that I get my daily nutrients. So I mix vegetables in my soup. Just mix it, heat it up, and I get vegetable soup. I don't eat meat, so it's a vegetable noodle soup. And I have all kind of sauces. You would not believe all kind of the tangy sauces I have. I tried another one. Hold on one second. Let me give you the name of it. Let me give you the name of it. The name of this is Kung Pao stir fry sauce. What flavor is this one? This is made by the Panda Express Company. Ladies and gentlemen, I got several bottles of that. Why? Because I do a lot of soup. You know a lot of soup? That's a lot of sodium, isn't it? You know what? It may be a lot of sodium, but it's a lot of soup! No. Here's the problem with the sodium. It is the... And I've done a video on it before, and let me just go ahead and mention it again. Just do your research on table salt. And just say table salt mixed with glass and sand. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why people have high blood pressure and have artery issues is because of the salt that they're eating. The high salt content because the salt is mixed with sand and glass. You don't believe me? Do it for yourself. Do your own research and find out that the salt that you're eating every single day has sand and glass in it. Why sand and glass? Why would that even make a difference? Well, what happens is the lining of your arteries is smooth. It's as smooth as a baby's skin, okay? But when you mix it with sand and glass, it scrapes and skirts and tears things up. And now things start to stick to it like plaque, like plaque. And it builds up and builds up. And all of a sudden, there's so much buildup that there is a... Oh my God, a 40 car collision on Highway 48 and there is no way to get around it. It's a backup all the way back to New Jersey. And guess what? New Jersey's on the north side of the Highway 48 and the accident is on the south side. How is that possible, Jim? Jim, can you tell us how that's possible? Okay, so that's why table salt is bad for you. That's why you saw the craze on sea salts, Himalayan salts. The only problem with sea salt is because of what they are doing with the Fukushima explosion. That explosion, yes, it was an explosion. Don't let them tell you it was not. That, that is a meltdown. That nuclear material is still melting down. They can't stop it from melting down. It's eating through the earth. It's eventually going to be in China, ain't it? No, it's going to be in America. That was in Japan. Okay, so then it's going to go out into the sea and then it's going to be in the environment because it's melting down. There's no way to stop a nuclear meltdown. Ladies and gentlemen, don't let them lie to you. There is no way for them to contain that nuclear material. Once it's exposed, it's exposed. There is no getting a machine and scooping it up. <laughs> it just don't work that way. So it's still melting down. Do your research. Check it out. Nuclear meltdown. Fukushima. Since 2011. And it's still going on. 
still polluting the oceans because they decided to use ocean water to cool it down and to put it back in the ocean because that's the world's garbage dump. But you guys didn't know that? The entire world puts all of this extra excess garbage, nuclear waste, in the oceans. Really? You didn't see that that was the reason for the deformed fish? The fish with two heads, three heads, and arms and legs? Oh my God, that's evolution! No, that's manolution! Men are creating that! Amazing, ain't it? So, the news talked about inflation, and here I am doing a video showing you about inflation, but I'm not showing you a little bit of inflation, I'm showing you skyrocketing prices. A product that usually is about $4, now going for $15 to $29. $15 to $29. They went from $4 to $15 to $29. Now, I'm not saying that the only prices are the $15 to $29. No, what I am telling you is you had better believe that the prices are going to start exponentially going up, the same as gas prices. What's the cause of all of this, sir? Can you please educate us? Well, sure, I can educate you on the cause of all of this. What's been happening is for the last 30 years, there has been inflation. But the government, in order to appease the Americans and the world, and for political gain, has been working out deals with the manufacturing companies. Hey, don't raise your prices. Just decrease your sizes. Don't raise your prices. Just decrease your sizes. Do you get how nice and smooth that rolls off the tongue don't raise your price decrease your size there you go that was it and that's what they started to do that's why when you go to the store and you buy a bag of potato chips you're not buying a bag of potatoes or chips you're buying a bag with air and eventually there's just going to be one chip in that bag Shh, don't tell nobody but that's where we're headed Somebody's going to make a comedic joke about it. Probably Saturday Night Live. If anyone will do it, they will. Ladies and gentlemen, by decreasing the sizes of the packages, but making it appear, because they're only decreasing them by fractions. They're not decreasing them by much, but fractions. And over the course of time, it's a lot. So there used to be eight bars of nutty butter, 16 total packages inside one box. Then they went from 16 to 14, then 14 to 12, then 12 to 10, 10 to eight, then now eight to six, and now they're from six to five. <laughs> you look and you shake that box and you see that there's a lot of room in there. Why you got so much room in this box? Because they gotta keep the box at a size. Did you ever see a little child? You offer them some food and they pick the biggest plate that looks like it's got the most food, but really it doesn't have a lot of food on it. It just has a lot of bread. The other plate has, man, that thing is heavy. Put that on a scale, it's like 30 pounds. Put the plate for the child, the one that they see that looks like it's got more. Ooh, doggy, it's only uh, 14 ounces. But the child looks and thinks that he's getting more. Well, you all are being treated like children. They're making you believe that you're getting more by reducing sizes, but making those sizes look comparable to the former size, making you believe in optical illusions. If you don't believe, all you gotta do is your research on a box of, uh, let's, Chips Ahoy 2012, let's do this. We are going to go, let's go here. We were just here, I was just there, and I just couldn't get away. We're going to just cl click on the, the cross because that's what that is. not a plus sign. That's a cross, okay? Anyway, we're going to click on that junk. And we're going to say uh, C-H-I-P-O-H-O-Y. I don't know. Oh, I said Y. I didn't say you. I don't know if that's Chip Ahoy. Let's put the comma because, you know, they want to be Irish. And... C O O K I E. C O O K. What's that smell? Cookie. Cookies. Two zero one two. C 
O M P A R E D two two zero two one because we can't do two twenty 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 two because twenty 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 two ain't here yet. What you mean it ain't here? It is the twelfth day of twenty twenty two. That's right, but manufacturing hasn't. Oh, it's ahoy! Ooh, ahoy! Ahoy there, mate. Okay, what I have done is. I don't want that. I want to do comparisons. Now, this one right here seems to be close. Okay. They've shrunk the popular Christy cookie brand by 15%. You will see that all companies have done that, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on. I just want you to understand. This is what I noticed. Not because Pay attention because I want you to get this. I don't pick what's the the biggest because I know the biggest don't amount to nothing. I don't pick what's the most because I know the most doesn't amount to anything. I pick what is the value. Wait, sir, can you tell me what you mean by value? Well, value is simple. If I'm going to go and buy a car, I'm not going to buy the car that looks the fastest. I'm going to buy a car after I look at the specs that actually says it is the fastest but hold on i can't simply buy that car because it's the fastest if i'm looking for the fastest car now i have to weigh the cost of having the fastest car see usually the fastest car burns the most gas so now i have to find the fastest car that burns the least amount of gas but now usually the fastest car comes with only one passenger seat but i want the fastest car with more than one passenger seat so now i gotta find the fastest car with more than one passenger seat that is more economical do you see i look for value i don't just go out there and grab something because somebody said look there it is okay look at this cancer in a can how could pringles carry cancer oh my god Again, ladies and gentlemen, the idea here is this right here. They are getting smaller and smaller. And this is an article on food products. I've never been here before. But without these in shrinkification, shrinkflation, that's right, they're tying it into inflation. And this was updated January 12, 2022. Today at 11 p.m. Today. Wait, today ain't the 12th, today's the 13th. I'm sorry, that was yesterday. See, I know today, today 13th? I don't think Friday the 13th. I don't keep up with dates, people. I'm sorry. I don't have a calendar. I look at the computer to tell me what day it is, and I'm looking at the computer right now, and the computer is saying, wait a minute, I'm gonna look at my phone. My phone has the date on it. And so I gotta go all the way back to the first window because my phone has windows. Today's the 13th. Today's the 13th. So this was on yesterday. My computer said today's the 12th. 827 p.m. It's 821 a.m. 827 p.m. was the last time I had the computer on. <sighs> you see what I'm saying? See, anyone notice lately? I've read several articles on the matter, but had to see it for myself to believe it was actually happening. I always thought you were a kid. Of course things appeared bigger to you at the time than when you grew up. But that isn't the case. And it comes at nobody's surprise, being junk food addict that I am, that I witnessed this heinous act of injustice on the first hand with cookie owls at Walmart. Walmart, Walmart, what are you doing to us? They've shrunk the popular Christie's cookie brand by 15%. So instead of getting 300 to 500 gram packages, we're getting 300 to 500 grams for the same price. Uh-oh. Although they are on sale this week at Walmart. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, do you understand what he's saying? You're, you're getting what appears to be the same, but it is not the same. Okay? Oreo, Chip Ahoy, Chunks Ahoy, Chewy, etc. All 300 gram standard, big sizes, 500 gram now. But this topic 
is for general discussion of corporate product conversions shifting consumers on the value on the value on the value of their buck as we pay more for less seriously does greed know any boundaries it's not greed ladies and gentlemen they were not being greedy that was how they were offsetting inflation that's why i kept saying for years has anybody noticed how there has been no inflation for the last 15 years no prices have gone up everything has been inflation is relatively stable well inflation wasn't relatively stable see come 20 years we'll be lucky if we don't have to break a 20 to a one ply sheet of toilet paper ladies and gentlemen they can't stop inflation why because the government has pay attention printed over nine trillion dollars in digital currency you said print it how can you print what's digital because ladies and gentlemen you don't get it that's what it is they are coining and printing digital currency and they're doing it in a form of what they are referring to stimulus that is to pay attention eventually blame it on all of you now remember they have already accounted for over what is it several trillion dollars almost 92 trillion dollars in missing monies that they cannot account for but because they're giving out stimulus to everybody come on here come on get your free stimulus come on you're gonna be rich mother get on over here get your stimulus here take your stimulus there you go now go on home no we ain't gonna ask you for nothing back you're gonna pay some taxes on that stimulus though because we're gonna get paid all right now go on now you all need to pay attention the stimulus checks was not to help you. The stimulus checks were not to help you. The stimulus check was to use you as a scapegoat. Don't take my word for it. When it happens, then you let me know. You tell me, mother, you were right. How did you know that? Just go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, how I knew that is because I sit back and I watch. I'm an observer. There has, There's a reason. Some people say there's a reason for everything. Ask yourself the question, why are they doing this? They want to blame it on the corporation. The corporations are easily, reasonably able and willing to accept the blame. Why? Because they're still going to get their money. They get their government subsidies. They get to write off the difference. See, not only do they get to shrink their packages, <laughs> oh God, but they get to write off the loss. Do you not get how ingenious this is that government will promise these idiots, go ahead and shrink your packages? Okay? You can make it smaller, and then you can write off the loss. It's called net operating loss. They get to write that junk off. And when they write off their net operating loss, which they document at the end of every year, that's why you see those end-of-year financial reports. They not only save a ton of money, but they pass on all of their losses to you because the losses come at taxpayer expense. Because why? They get to tell their shareholders they lost this much money and then they get to raise prices again. And then they get to shrink the same product over a year and a half. They don't do it every year, over a year and a half. And they've been doing this consistently for the last 30 years. You all need to pay attention. You need to start looking for value. And you need to start looking at the labels. Now, I am very particular about my food. So when I look for foods, I look for foods that don't contain any aspartame. And the food that I'm looking at right now, I was looking at the label because I'm looking for that high fructose corn syrup. And you know something? There ain't no high fructose corn syrup in here. Why isn't there no high fructose corn syrup in your package that you just got? Because this ain't made by no American. This is made by a Chinese company. Now, hold on now. People say, well, the Chinese be putting products in there that we know to be harmful here in America. No, they don't because they won't be able to sell it in America. So they have to conform to what's required in America. However, they don't have a contract worked out with government 
to put certain products in your food to cause you to get sick, such as glass and sand. Now, some of you don't believe me. No, no, no. There are some people who think that this man is out of his mind. He's crazy. Um, while I'm looking for this, ladies and gentlemen, there was a... Uh, well, I, I, I can't call her anything but a young lady for now. Although, in my opinion, she's not either. Um, her name was Kimberly. She wrote me an email yesterday. And I read the first couple of lines and I saw that... Ooh-wee! She, she, she had a problem. And she wanted me to solve it for her. I started to solve it for her by calling her all kind of stuff on my video. You know, tell you what type of garden tool she was. But I'm not going to do that. Kimberly suggested, and like I said, I only read the very, probably about six, no, probably about four lines on my cell phone screen. On the portrait, not the landscape angle. And it said something like, you think you can talk to anybody any old kind of way you want, or something to that effect. I'm sorry. A message to Kimberly. It's not a matter of thinking. Okay, to the rest of you, this is my video. This, this is my network. If you don't want to be here, click. That's all you got to do. Click. It's so simple. Click. <laughs> click, 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 click. That's all you get to do. You don't have to do no more. Just click. Oh, man, that is so fun. Click. I mean, I do it all the time. I don't want to watch. Click. I don't want to hear. Click. I'm clicking every single day. Okay. So for people like Kimberly who come here just to siphon information, you know what that's called. That's called hoeing. Now, don't. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Don't get mad at me. Go. Don't get mad at me. That's called hoeing. When you just go to get what you got to get. That's called hoeing. Go listen to Houdini when they said, I'm a hoe. You know, I'm a hoe. Okay? That's called hoeing. So, I'm not saying that a person is or a person isn't. I'm saying that her communication, she says that I just talk people in circles. Oh, we go. Got me going around in circles. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Little fly high like a bird up in the sky. Okay? Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> if I was talking people in circles, then why are you still here? Kim, go someplace else. Oh, snap! That's what it is. I'm sorry, Kim. Ain't nobody else talking about this stuff. That's right. I'm the only one. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kim, that you're so disappointed. So go suck on a lollipop. I ate. Hey, is a family channel. Family! And go mind your own business, crackhead. Now, some people will get mad at me for talking to her like that. Ladies and gentlemen, this cow came into my email trying to set me straight when I have explicitly said that y'all don't get to comment on my videos, nor do you get to set me straight in my emails because that's mine. You want to set something straight? Get your own channel, and I will roast you to death, but get your own channel. And set me straight. But don't walk into my house thinking you're going to curse me out. Now, she didn't use curse words. But she got mad because I told her I wasn't going to help her with something. And then I commented on a video that that hoe, um, excuse me, sorry, apologize, garden tool, got to be PC. That garden tool was asking me to help them with something that I said I wasn't going to help with. And although I didn't mention any names at the time, that cow... Going to sit up here and write me back. She's blocked now. I, I don't want to talk to her anymore. Well, you're talking to her now, sir. Well, no, no, I'm not talking to her. I'm talking at her because she tried to get at me, thinking that that was okay. <sighs> Poor ho. I mean, a cow. I mean, so, I mean look, I, I'm sorry, y'all. I had just laid down to go to sleep, and I decided to check my emails. Look, 150 emails a night. Our day because they they come all during the time Whew, and I'm not even going to tell you I got a consult in two and a half hours that person called me at 2 30 in the morning 2 30 ladies and gentlemen 2 30 in the mother 2 30 in the morning ladies and gentlemen I ain't gave none of you that right Whew, Musa 
Musa. I'm being quiet now, ladies and gentlemen. Whoo wee. I'm being quiet because only on YouTube. That's what Falsy, that lion snake in the grass, Falsy, said about you people. He said that you were crazies. I didn't say it. Go back and listen to him talk about Rand Paul. Listen to his open mic. He actually says out loud before the entire nation that you YouTube people are crazies. Like I said, the crazies are not my people. See, you don't hear me talking that sovereign, so-called citizen stuff. Yes, at one time you did hear me mention that. <coughs> oh, <coughs> excuse me. Let me point this out to you. There are claims that table salt is made of one-third glass. Well, nobody claimed it's one-third glass, just glass and sand. So do your research. Oh, look at this. There is no cilia. This is legal talk. That must be, pay attention, that must be some type of an attorney. Oh, snap. I don't want to go to Wikipedia. I want to do the, the salt of glass and sand. If you had to separate them, you would have nightmares of tiny tweezers magnifying glass and hours spent picking grains of salt and sand scientific american how to separate soluble solutions scientific america so ladies and gentlemen the science of it says that of course there is sand because there is a heating process anybody who knows anything about this heating process knows that you get glass from heating sand. I used to work at a glass factory. Yo, mama didn't work in no glass factory. I did, mother. Okay. I did work in a glass factory. No, I was security. I was security. I had to see how the bottles were made and everything. I had to see how the bottles were eerily shaped. <sighs> Doctor claims that table salt is two-thirds glass and sand which scratches arteries. Look at that. And I never heard a doctor say this. I knew that that was the case. Why would I say that? Because I've always known about individuals. Pay attention. I have a friend who died of sickle cell. His name was Keith. And Keith Preston, very good young man. He had his difficulties in life. He had his issues. But Keith was a very good young man. We used to have many a conversations. They called him Little Keith um, because of me. But Keith, <sighs> that was my that was my people's. And he had a real difficult time with being in and out of the hospital. As a matter of fact, I went to visit him many times at the hospital. He knew the nurses and things at uh, Cedar Sinai. He knew, and I don't even know why they call it Sinai. Sinai. Anyway, uh, he had so many nurses and people there that knew him because he was constantly in the hospital as a result of the pain that comes from sickle cell. Sickle cell comes from the blood platelets sticking. Being sticky. Sticky cell is what it should be called. And not passing through the arteries, which are supposed to be smooth to allow them to pass through. And so... Ladies and gentlemen, that's how I know that the arteries are smooth because I did some research on sickle cell. Then when I realized about sand and salt and then we hear about plaque buildup, you got, hey, doctors have already told us, plaque buildup. Okay? Plaque buildup. Glass has two, excuse me, glass two has a smaller number of sugar particles then glass one. Salt and sand and water filter sand out first, then let the water evaporate. Again, ladies and gentlemen, as that scientist said, up above, you cannot get rid of all of it. They're microscopic. See, separating iron filings, salt and sand. 
literally. So the doctor who claims that it strips arteries, I would say go ahead and read that because guess what? That's how most of you are having high blood pressure, having clogged arteries, needing stents. Okay, that's the reason. Because the part of that blood vessel is the one that was scratched up the most and where most the most plaque built up. Ladies and gentlemen, this keeps the hospitals going. Is you're eating table salt. Go to sea salt. Sea salt doesn't have the sand in it because it's not mixed with sand. Go to sea salt. Go to Himalayan salt or any other salt that is documented not to have that gland and sand gland <laughs> glass and sand mixture okay don't take my word for it this is why sodium is a problem salt was never a problem in the past remember in order to preserve food in the past before they had refrigeration before they had freezers what did they have pay attention they had salt they would pack their food in salt because salt is a preservative. You can't live without salt, ladies and gentlemen. Your body can't live without salt. So when the doctors are telling you to stay away from salt, that is a lie. They're telling you to stay away from that junk that cooks up and cakes up in your arteries. That's what they're telling you. Now, this is not actually an article. Okay, take a look. This guy is pretty widely regarded as a quack. But this claim is just so wild that it could be easily tested and refuted, yet it hasn't been. Not anywhere I can find, anyway. Let's find out, because I thought it was going to be an anamical, but it ain't an article, ladies and gentlemen. And it's a link to a video. To a guy who ain't even the guy who doing the article! You know, we got to get past, um, I don't know what this is. Every cancer can be cured in a week. No, don't do that. But this must be 60 minutes or something, because I'm looking at the way the video is done. But, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know. But they're saying he's a quack. I don't know. Every cancer can be cured in a week, explains Dr. Leonard Caldwell. In a week? We know that that, I don't think he actually said those words. I think that that is the idiot who put together, and it's got 7 million views. Eye health tube. Eye health tube, man, I ain't never heard of no eye health tube. I had a big cyst with surgical removal written all over it. I drank a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar with honey twice a day, and it was literally gone in two days. He's right about the problem solutions that in nature. Ooh, let's make use of it. I agree, but let's let's hear what he had to say, okay? Especially if we have high blood pressure, that's what we're talking about. Okay, it's the opposite. <laughs> the problem is, they are talking about table salt. Very often, table salt is one-third glass, sand, and one-third salt. So, this, the glass or the sand is scratching the arteries, and they start to bleed. So now, cholesterol goes there to stop it from, to make you survive, to stop it from bleeding, so that you don't bleed to death internally. So now they say the cholesterol, all of a sudden, is the cause of the high blood pressure because it narrows the, the blood waves. And uh, that's completely absurd because you die of not enough cholesterol. You do not die of too much. There are people with a cholesterol of 600, perfectly healthy, never been sick in their lifetime. So what do you do with a, with a, with a patient in a burn, burn unit? You give them 20 to 25 hard-boiled eggs a day. Because they know only cholesterol can rebuild brand new healthy cells really, really fast. Nearly Wait, this doctor, and I agree, I, it makes sense. He's saying that cholesterol is a healing agent. So why are they telling us to eat less cholesterol? To eat less foods containing cholesterol. Well, because the cholesterol is the plaque that builds up because the cholesterol... Hey, hold on, there's a, there's a leak! Come on, we gotta go, we gotta go get that leak. Come on, hurry up! They, no, they scratching it up. We gotta get over there and cure that. Come on, let's get rid of that sand in that glass. And that's what cholesterol is doing. It's running to the aid of your body to stop it from bleeding. See, you don't understand. That's a blood vessel. Blood is passing through the vessel, but those blood cells are, they have a lining around it. Against, go look at sickle cell. There's a lining around those blood cells. The salt in the sand is scratching the lining of the blood vessels. 
it's a membrane. It's scratching the membrane, causing a bleed, and that bleeding needs to be repaired or you're going to bleed inside your own arteries. So that's what that preventative measure is for. I am going to watch this video. You, you better believe I'm going to watch this video from beginning to end right after I make this video. Why? Because he made sense. So they can call him a quack all they want. But he just made a whole lot of sense. And I ain't nobody who studied and nobody stupid in the medical field, but I've done enough research to know. Okay. You hear me? Ladies and gentlemen, this video was done two years ago, but it keeps popping up in my search. I ain't never did no search on that. I do know that I talked about something on a video a couple of weeks ago, and now that's showing up in all of my searches. What I talked about on video, I told you they be listening, see? Listenable! They be listening to me! I think they following me. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Like the morning I got up and there was a truck parked in the middle of a field, a middle of a wet, muddy field, and I went over to that field to try to find out what he could possibly have do been doing parked there. At 6 a.m. in the morning, to 8 a.m. in the morning. What his windshield turned directly at my vehicle. Could have been turned in any other direction, but he was turned at the window. I'm looking right at him the whole time. I'm thinking somebody just left the vehicle there parked overnight because they're probably getting ready to move there and they're going to bring in your, their stuff and supplies and that's a secondary vehicle. So they parked it there and then their people took them back. <sighs> All of a sudden I see headlights come on. And it sits there for 15 minutes with the headlights on. And then I turn around, he's driving down the street. And I said to myself, that fool had to have four-wheel drive. Because this soil is clay and sand mixture. It builds up and cakes up. Man, you step in it and all of a sudden you got a whole mound of dirt underneath your foot that is attached to your shoe. That is not just regular mud. This is clay mud. Okay, so it is very difficult to walk in and a whole lot more difficult to drive in because when you're driving, and I didn't say drive in like a drive-in when you're going to go watch a movie. I said drive in like you're driving in it. Okay, so when you're driving in, in that junk, your tires just go down for about a half a foot. And if you keep spinning them tires, you'll go down a full foot. That's how much clay and sand mix before you get to something solid to where you can move around on. So I knew he was there for a reason. That's what I was trying to say because I'm a deducive person. I deduce things. Okay? See? Like Perry Mason. See, you put the P up there and you put the M down here, you got Perry Mason. <laughs> okay, sorry. 87% of the cell is built on cholesterol. So where does the new cell potential or foundation come from if you have a lack of cholesterol? Everybody should have at least 250 combined cholesterol. And then they tell you LDL and HDL are good and bad cholesterols. It's not even cholesterol. It's a protein that transports cholesterol. So they are too stupid to even narrow it down the right way. Whoa! He just called the doctors and scientists stupid. No wonder they called him a quack. Man, he ain't going with conventional medicine. Oh, what's this man's problem? Hold on. So if you look at the facts and if you look what they know and what they don't know, you know that uh, Dr. Gary Null stated it and a lot of other people, the medical profession, the medical doctor statistically has the shortest lifespan of 56 years of age, the highest abuse rate of alcohol and drugs, the highest suicide rate, only the psychiatrist is higher. And uh, so you go to somebody that has the lowest lifespan, highest suicide rate, highest drug abuse rate, to ask them how to have, have a healthy, healthy. happy, uh, long life. Uh, thing. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all know I don't do this often. Seven million people have watched this video. Go ahead and increase that viewership. Watch this, man. I know some of you are going to be like, I seen him. I done watched this. I done watched this brother. Remember, this video started out with me telling you about inflation, but originally I was talking about products and my eating certain products and the food that I eat and what I was looking to buy. And I mentioned about how some people would say that's a lot of sodium. Ladies and gentlemen, that's not the type of sodium I'm aiming for. The problem is most of our food contains 
that type of sodium. However, that's only because of the way it's mixed. It doesn't all automatically have salt and sand and glass. They can separate it for the most part. However, because they use a heating process to separate it, you heat up sand to a certain temperature and you're gonna get glass. They know this, ladies and gentlemen, they keep doing it. That's what led to this video. Other than that, I never would have seen this video because I never would have done what you just saw me do. When I tell you I don't do research, I don't. Unless you see me do it on a video like this, I don't. But I am going to go and listen to this. Now, I have been hearing about vitamin D. been hearing a lot about vitamin D. What's been happening is that I listened to the reports from the so-called wannabe experts who said that vitamin D does not help with bone growth, like we were once told, and I stopped doing the vitamin D thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go now. Like I said, I got two hours before my, two hours and ten minutes before my meeting. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and wind down so that I can finish what I needed to have finished this week. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for taking the time to listen. And, uh, hey, Kim, we'll see you later. You, yeah, yeah, you'll be all right now. You go find you someplace else to siphon your information and, and you know, do your hoeing. I mean, uh, do your uh, rolling. And, and, yeah, you peace out. Take care, everyone. And to those of you who are new to this channel or who are not used to this channel, if you can't get used to it, you are more than welcome to go someplace else. Because I'm sure somebody is giving you information where they back it up and they're not just talking. I'm sure somebody's giving you information and they're not sounding like they're stupid or if they're ignorant or they're just piping out junk that somebody else said. Okay? You're not going to hear me tell you what I think. Go ahead and listen to any of my videos and see if I tell you what I think. Go ahead. I dare you. The reason why my videos are done this way because I show people what I'm talking about. I let you see where I'm getting information. My videos are not scripted. There are a lot of people who do videos and their videos are scripted. They, every line, they even have outlines of what they're going to talk about. I tried that. It doesn't work for me. I don't work that way. I take it from the hip. Like in the Western times where people used to do their little gun battles. All right, who's quicker on the draw? I go from the top of the head. Why? Because the people who don't go from the top of the head end up dead. You know what I'm saying? Go for the head! Shoot them in the head! Okay, anyway, y'all have a good day. Oh, and for those of you who think that all of this antics is me trying to be different, then that means you don't know me because I do this 24 hours a day. Peace out, G.